after a long day of hard work, um, what you're going to do, uh, you guys saw the, the um, cleaning of the sticker process with the screen and the, and the shrugge or the creosote that we used. Um, so after that, what you want to do when you get home and right when you get home is you want to throw it in a big pot, throw some water in it, and we're going to let this uh, come to a boil and uh, cook for about um, 30 minutes or so. So um, after that, I'll show you the next process of uh, drying them out um, out in the sun and usually let them dry out for about a week. So Hey guys, so it's day two, and um, so we basically are at the end of part here. Uh, so as you can recall, we went out, we picked. Secondly, we ran the choya buds through a screening process where we got all those stickers out with the shrege. And then when we got home, we immediately uh, boiled some water and we threw our buds in the pot and cooked it for about half an hour. Um, so right after you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go outside and as you can see here, uh, you're just gonna find a nice table or a screen would be the best to lay all the buds down. And um, you're gonna let that sit for about a week. And after that week's done, all that water um, that we uh, had hydrated the choya buds with, it's gonna, it's gonna get out of there. Um, and then at that point, what you can do as far as storage goes is you can get some mason jars and um, just fill them up or even some Ziploc bags. If you want to freeze them, you can. Um, and you can start just giving them out. And so when you give them out and you want to you cook them again, you're going to do just that same process as we did when we got back home. You're going to boil water. You're gonna uh, cook it for a good half an hour and the buds will rehydrate. So it will get nice and plump again. So, um, and lastly, what I did wanna mention is uh, just the nutritional value. Uh, so, you know, the choya buds, um, big part of our culture. Uh, it's a big part of the reason why our people were so healthy for so many years. Uh, it does regulate your blood sugar levels and it is also just a great uh, source of calcium for you. So. Um, I think there is this thing done of uh, comparing a glass of milk to uh, like a, a cup of uh, choya buds and choya buds just surpass them with the, the amount of uh, calcium it had in it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and just I encourage you guys to get out and uh, go pick for yourself and your families. So thank you.